वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश फोर्टी टू स्टेटमेंट इज ड्रॉ द शेयर एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर द कंपाउंड बीम सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ कंपाउंड बीम ए डी हैविंग टू सेगमेंट दैट इज ए बी क्लियर एंड बी डी विच विच आर पिन टूगेदर एट पॉइंट बी एंड देर इज ए यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ऑफ फाइव किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर और द लेंथ ऑफ फोर मीटर so we have to draw the shear and movement diagram for the compound b so let's start with the solution again first step will be that if you remove this roller support so you will be having a reaction force let like this is a y clear and if you remove this support at point c so you will be having a reaction force that is c y and if you remove this pin support so you will be having a vertical reaction force that is equal to d y so we will find them by using equilibrium condition as this beam is a compound beam so what we will do is that we will take this segment ab and we will draw the free body diagram of this segment ab so i will write for segment ab so what will be its free body diagram so if this is the beam clear so this is point a so we have ay clear this is point b so at b there is a pin so if you remove this uh, pin so there will be having a vertical reaction force which is equal to b y and there will be a horizontal reaction force which is equal to b x this length of segment ab is equal to 2 meter you can see over here and there is a uniformly distributed load of 5 kilo newton per meter so what we will do is that we will convert this uniformly distributed load into a point load so it will be equal to 5 into 2 that is equal to 10 and that will be acting at a distance of 1 meter from this point a or for from point b so we will find this uh, a y and b y by using equilibrium condition what will be the equilibrium condition the first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moments about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point a one moment is this 10 kN force and perpendicular distance is 1 this is producing clockwise so it will be negative the second moment is by into perpendicular distance is 2 clear and this is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write 5 into 2 into perpendicular distance is 1 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative plus by into perpendicular distance is 2 this is producing counter clockwise so it will be 0 so from here you will get by is equal to 5 kilo newton now you have this by you can find a y by using equilibrium condition that sum of all forces in long y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is positive so a y is upward minus this 10 which is downward plus b y which is upward 5 is equal to 0 so again from here you will get a y is equal to 5 kilo newton also there is no horizontal force acting only uh, on it so sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force in this direction is positive so we have only one force which is bx and there is no other force so bx is equal to 0 this is for segment ab now we will move for segment for segment bd and what we will do is that we will draw the free body diagram of this portion clear uh, so i will draw it first and then we will discuss it so that this is your uh, uh, force now in in ab the b by is upward so here it will be downward as per newton third law so this is your b so by will be downward and similarly bx will be as bx is zero so it for third law it should be in opposite direction and here you have at point c you will have a 
सी वाई दैट विल बी एक्टिंग अपवर्ड एंड एट पॉइंट डी यू विल बी हैविंग अ अपवर्ड रिएक्शन फोर्स आर इट शुड लेट टेक इट अपवर्ड ओके सो दिस इज डी वाई एंड देर इज ए यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ओवर दिस लेंथ एंड दिस यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड इज फाइव किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर सो वैन कन्वर्टेड इन टू पॉइंट लोड सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव इन टू परपेंडिकुलर सॉरी टोटल डिस्टेंस इज टू मीटर दिस इज वन मीटर एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो वन मीटर सो इट विल बी अगेन इक्वल टू टेन नाउ विल फाइंड दिस C y and d y by using equilibrium condition that first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moments about point C is equal to zero and taking the counter clockwise movement as positive. Okay, so moment about point C one force is b y into perpendicular distance is this one. and that is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive the second moment is due to dy so dy into perpendicular distance is also one and that is also producing positive so from here you know that dy is equal to by dy is equal to by and by is 5 kilo newton and dy is equal to minus by so minus 5 kilo newton so we have taking the direction of dy upward but here this is minor so dy should be it should be downward so we will ch change the direction our assumed direction of dy which is which we have taken upward is wrong so it should be downward clear now we will find cy by using another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so one force is by which is minus plus cy plus uh, sorry minus dy minus 10 will be equal to 0 so i will write it cy minus by which is 5 minus 10 and minus dy which is also Minus five is equal to zero. So from here you will get C is equal C Y is equal to twenty kilo newton. Also B X is zero. You can see from here B X is zero. So this will be also zero. Now we have all the forces. So we, what we will do is that we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So again I am going to take two vertical lines from the end of this beam. and there is a horizontal line in order to show the length that is x in meter here we have a shear force that will be in kilo newton so what we will do is that uh, we will take a proper scale let each division is equal to 2.5 kilo newton so this is 2. Point, or you can also take it as 5 so let take it 5 10 minus 5 and minus 10 so at point a you have a y which is equal to 5 kilo newton so your first point will be this one now we will directly go to point c and you can see that till point c you have 5 kilo newton per meter when multiply with this length 3 is equal to 15 clear so plus 5 and this is minus 15 So plus five minus fifteen will bring it to minus ten at this point. Clear. So we will first plot the point. So at point C we will get this minus ten. This is minus ten, and you can see that uh, loading is a horizontal with zero degree line. So bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be decreasing because this is negative force. So you will get the shear force like this. This is your shear force. between point a and this is point c now from uh, at point c you can see that you have cy which is equal to 20 kilo newton this is 20 kilo newton so minus 10 plus 20 will be equal to 10 so shear force will change to 10 so this will be the shear force will change from minus 10 to plus 10 again you can see that there is a uniformly distributed load 
of 5 kilo newton per meter over length of c so it will be equal to minus 5 so plus 10 and minus 5 will bring it to minus as uh, plus 5 so this will be your point and this will be your shear force because the uh, this load is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending uh, shear force will be one degree higher and slope will be decreasing and at last you can see you have a point uh, of dy in dy you can see that the, the dy over here is minus five this value minus five so plus five minus five will bring it to zero so this is your shear force diagram now we will draw the bending moment diagram so again you have to draw horizontal line there and you have moment that will be equal to kilo newton into meter and x will be in meter so let each division is of uh, 2.5 this is 5 this similarly minus 2.5 plus 5 and minus 7.5 so first area under the shear force diagram is this one and this is equal to 5 into this length which is equal to uh, 1 and that is equal to uh, let me check this is this distance is 1 meter let me write it first this till this point this is 1 meter till this point it is the remaining is 3 meter and this is also 1 meter okay so first area under the shear force diagram is this one and this area of this triangle is 1 over 2 into this height which is equal to 5 and this length which is 1. So it will give you 2.5. So at this point at length of 1 meter you have moment 2.5. So first locate it uh, 2.5. So you will having a moment over here will be 2.5. This is 2.5. And you can see that uh, shear force is a one degree line with slope decreasing. So bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be in clockwise direction. So you will get the bending moment will be like this. Okay. The next area is this one. And this area of triangle is equal to 1 over 2 minus 10 into 3, which is equal to minus 15. So plus 2.5 minus 15 will bring it to uh, minus 10 sorry not minus 10 it will be uh, okay 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 it will bring it to minus 7.50 how 1 over 2 into height is minus 10 into length is 3 so minus 30 divided by 2 is equal to minus 15 okay i had a mistake this distance is 2 meter why i will let me correct it because you can see half of this will be one so this and this will be equal to 2 meter so now this area of this will be equal to 1 over 2 minus 10 into 2 which is equal to minus 10 so plus 2.5 minus 10.5 will bring it to minus 7.5 at point C. So we will plot minus 7.5 at point C which will be this point. And again you can see that shear force is a 1 degree line and slope is decreasing. So bending moment will be 1 degree. Second degree curve and its slope will be clockwise direction. So I will use it like this. And this is your minus 7.5 again the third area is uh, this one and this area is uh, you can see this is a trapezium so if you calculate the area the 1 over 2 into its parallel length into its base and that will give you plus 7.5 so minus 7.5 plus 7.5 will bring it to 0 and since this is uh, this shear force is a one degree line slope is decreasing so bending moment will be uh, second degree curve and this will be in clockwise so it will bring it to zero so this length is two meter here this is one meter 
this will be total 3 meter and this will be 4 meter this point and this is the bending moment diagram BMD in shortcut and this is shear force diagram SFD and that was all about problem 6-42 I hope you have enjoyed this video keep trying uh, and solving problem like this uh, I hope you will understand them and those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching